This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi everyone. That's not how I start my videos. I have no idea what that was. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today we are doing a highly requested video. I'm giving you a closet tour slash organizing my closet. It's what are the words to use for my closet right now? Disorganized, chaotic, cluttered, stuff to the brim. Anyways, um, I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you some of my favorite pieces in my closet, some outfit ideas, all the while just purging and organizing and trying stuff on as we go. I'm so excited to be doing this and thanks for all your kind comments about my outfits. You guys always wanna know where my outfits are from and do more like lifestyle -y content like this. So really excited we're doing that today. There's something about the new year for me that I just, I wanna start like fresh. I want to organize my entire house, which I did a couple weeks ago. I want to purge things. I want to just feel the best possible version of me, which is why I have been loving taking the course, The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook. Discover and nurture your centered self with Jonathan Van Ness, who is watching the new season of Queer Eye. That would be me. If you didn't already know, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of courses. I actually um, love Skillshare for all things, not only interior design and home decor, but things like how to create a capsule wardrobe, how to um, take good photographs, how to paint. You can just take the courses at your own pace and the modules are bite-sized, so they're easy to digest. And honestly, Skillshare is a form of self-care, learning something new, setting yourself up for success what is better if you're someone who prefers to learn in a classroom setting you can tune into Skillshare's live classes and learn from credible teachers and interact and collaborate with other Skillshare members the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down below will get one month free of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today let's take you on a tour of this closet and begin this process. I'm both excited and a little nervous. Okay, so this, my friends, is the situation. It's not that bad, it's just like, well, no, it's kind of bad. I'm just gonna start by pulling everything out of the closet and organizing it into piles. So like sweaters, jumpsuits, pants. Let's do this, It's it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It's already cleared out a lot. This pile is for my sister. In here, summer shorts, bathing suits, pajamas. So we're starting with a clean slate. This is the situation, oh my goodness. So I've organized everything into piles. I have a lot of sweaters. Who knew? And I think I'm just gonna start trying stuff on and show you guys in the mirror so you can get outfit ideas, but also so I know if I should keep or give it away. I have to say, I'm kind of embarrassed at the amount of clothes that I have that I don't wear all the time. And I know it's a weird time, like we're in lockdown again right now in Ontario, so we're not really going anywhere, but this was definitely a good exercise for me because I'm like, I have a lot of cute things that I just like don't wear often enough. So let's, let's do it. I have not worn this top once but it is so cute. Look at the back. Has a little like dip at the back. The only thing that I can see myself not loving is that the shoulders kind of fall down. So while it's like super cute, I don't know if I'll grab it all the time, but it is super cute. You know what? I'm gonna clean my mirror before we go any further. This is like, this is bad. Okay, this top is also from Target and I love it. High neck. Cute little ruffle details, just like super simple and easy to pair with jeans. This is a definite keep, I think. I always put on this shirt wanting to love it. Uh, it's from Madewell. It has these really cute like buttons all down the back. Like it never like quite sits right. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't make me feel that great. I'm gonna donate it or list it on Poshmark or something. But yeah, I'm so sad when this happens because it's like in theory it's cute, but it just doesn't make me feel the greatest. Okay, this is the other, that other version of the white Target top. The sleeves are kind of puffy. It's really, really comfy. Just like an easy outfit to 
throw on. Um, another Madewell top that I haven't worn in so long and I don't know why because it's so like just comfy. Do you notice a theme here with the puffy sleeves? <laughs> yeah, I love this. Just with like simple jeans and I love this one. This is a tunic top that really needs to be steamed, but it has cute little pom-pom details. This is actually from Old Navy. And again, I just like love it with jeans. In the summer or the spring, I could tuck this into shorts. So I love this so much that I bought it in this color. I really just do not love this color. I'll try it on, but I think I'm just gonna keep the black one. I'm like, wait, actually I do like the brown one. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because my job is like very physical when we're doing makeovers, I love to just have stuff that I feel comfortable in, but like still feel cute. Should I keep the charcoal or the brown? Both. We're moving on to more basic tops. This is from Maritzia. It is a t-shirt, but it has these structured sleeves. And I really like it. Another piece I haven't worn in a while. Yeah, I think this tucked into jeans with some cute jewelry is like, I'm cool. I know we're cool. I'm not, but it makes me look cool. Noah, do we like this? I just want to know if you think this makes me look cool. Yeah. With like a gold necklace. I also don't know if it needs a necklace. Oh! Yeah. I'm actually starting to rethink the first two tops I tried on because although they were cute, they didn't feel like super comfy like the last three I've tried on. So yeah, we'll see. But I like this. Good basic. Okay, I'm not gonna try these on right now, but I wanted to share these basics because they've changed my outfit game a lot. This is from Aritzia, the Wilford line from Aritzia. I'll try and link it down below. It has these cute little puff sleeves. I have it in white and blue. Um, and these are just such good layering pieces under overalls, under like jumpsuits. So you'll probably see me trying these on, but I know I definitely want to keep these. This is an AYR tee. AYR is an American company and they have really awesome t-shirts. I haven't tried their jeans. I know they, they sell jeans, but yeah, just like really comfy, comfy basics. So I have this stripey shirt and I have a couple of short sleeve t-shirts from them. This is from Zara. I feel like I have the same shirt in like 18 different patterns, but this is really cute under overalls as well. I'll probably try this on with a couple outfits, but these are all pieces I'm keeping. Next, we're moving on to sweaters, which I have far too many of. This is really cute. I think this is from Zara. I am working on a very secret special project that I've alluded to many times, but I updated my wardrobe a couple months ago with a stylist actually, Talia, which was super helpful. Some of these pieces are just for the thing we're shooting because literally everything has to be in like a specific color palette. So this is one of the pieces, super cozy and I like the color of it. Next piece is a cardigan and it has flowers on it. See, I love this and I have not worn this one time and it is so cute. Kind of has like an oversized fit. I'm not wearing under anything underneath it, like a t-shirt or anything, I'm just leaving it as is. So cute, so comfy. I'm obsessed with this. This is another cardigan from that store Piper and Scoot. I'll link them down below. So this is the same company that sold the gray sweater, like the first outfit I tried on. I love the color of it and the little dots. I'm really into like cropped cardigans right now with high-waisted jeans in the winter. Put together, but it's also warm and cozy. So I'm definitely keeping this. I also have a couple sweaters from Chick Wish, which a lot of you have asked links for, which I will leave down below. Let me show you. They're like the pom-pom sweater, the ultimate pom-pom sweater. So they're these. I don't wear these like every single day, but in the spring, I wear these over dresses. When it's still a bit cold out in the fall, I wore this one a lot and it's just so fun. This one just pulls over and I was wearing this in the spring with skirts. So just like layering it over top. I will say they fit quite big. So the white one I have is a small medium and the green one I have is extra small, small. And I find that the green one is much more fitted. So if you want your cardigan to be more fitted, I would go down a size in this. It's also like very bulky. Like there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of, pom-poms going on. Um, so I find the white one just like looks much bigger. A couple sweaters that I get asked about all the time are these ones. These are tunic sweaters. They're from Brie People. They are just 
so comfy and like easy to throw on. I will say that the sizing is all over the place with these. Like this one is a small and this one is also a small and they fit so differently. Like this one is quite baggy and this one is more fitted. But I love wearing these with leggings. I will try and link them down below. They are quite expensive, um, but they've lasted me a really long time. And I've noticed that a lot of people sell them on Poshmark or even like Facebook Marketplace. So if you're looking for a discount, definitely try those places. They also go on sale a lot. So like certain colors will go on sale. Definitely keeping these, just such a good staple. These two cardigans, they're not cardigans, they're turtlenecks, are from Old Navy. I actually find that Old Navy can have some really great pieces that are actually like really good quality. So they sell linen um, in the spring and summer and I just love their jumpsuits and their dresses. These I bought because I needed sweaters. We thought we were going away to England and I thought I just needed something warm to layer with but I find these really staticky and the fabric is just like not great. So I'm gonna donate these, but these are definitely not staying in my closet. And I find whenever I'm cleaning up my closet to really be like ruthless when it comes to things that I just know I might wear, but like not feel good in. Like I just wanna keep things that I actually feel really good in when I put them on my body. So these are going. The next category is. Category is. is jumpsuits. I get so many questions about where my jumpsuits are from. So I have a few. Shocker. So this jumpsuit is from Revolve Clothing. I will link it down below. It's very much for makeover days when I just need to feel comfortable but look cute. I also have this in lilac. It's like, it's just cool. Casual but cool. Pairing it with some mules. I think I went up a size so it was a bit baggier. But the cool thing is it has these buttons on the side so you can like cinch the waist in if you want. I'm gonna show you what this looks like in the mirror actually. The bottoms are super baggy so I've just rolled them up a bit. Same jumpsuit, different color. I buy a lot of my jumpsuits in multiples honestly because they're just such an easy thing to wear when we are doing uh, makeovers. Okay, the next pair of overalls that I love are these ones from Mango, but these are so great because they have a wide leg at the bottom. So they're just like, again, super comfy, super flattering, and then I'm pairing it with one of those basic tops that I kept. This one's from Mango. I have these. They're just like a straight leg overall, but they smell weird and the smell has never gone away. Like, you know when you get clothes sometimes and they smell like chemicals? I thought washing these would help and it hasn't and I just like never grab these. Okay, this is another jumpsuit that I love. It's from Smash and Tess, which is a Canadian company that sells rompers and jumpsuits. I've been a huge supporter of them for at least five years. Woman owned business and everything is made in Canada, I believe but she's based in BC. Anyways, this is just so cute for like a casual day at the office. I paired it with this Wilfred top that I was showing you guys before. Definitely keeping this one. <laughs> okay, little update. We're making progress, very good progress. This is the closet. It looks so much better already. I am not someone who has a hard time letting go of clothes. I'm just trying to be like super ruthless and already this feels way less daunting than it did before. Like before I'd open my closet and just grab the same thing over and over again because I just wasn't actually like looking through the stuff I had. But now I feel like I love everything in here, which is the goal. I wanted to talk about a couple other jumpsuits that you probably always see me in. I have this jumpsuit in every color. It's from Old Navy. Um, I have it in the small and the medium. I like the small because it's um, a little more fitted. I have a medium size for when I'm painting. So these are like my painting overalls. I love, love, love these jumpsuits. I'm pretty sure the green one's still available. I'll link it down below if it is, but I'm definitely keeping these um, for work. Okay guys, here is the finished organized closet. I can truly say that I love everything in here. I also cannot wait until the summer when I get to wear more summery things. I feel so motivated to wear 
my clothes. <laughs> my jeans are here. I'm so picky about jeans. So I only have two pairs of jeans. I'm not sure if that's gonna like shock slash horrify anyone. And then down here, I have all my summer shorts, pants, leggings, just like t-shirts. These two bins are for casual t-shirts and pajamas. Me and Eva both have this t-shirt. I love it. it. Says a pair. And then my shoes are down below here. This is so satisfying. Are you guys ready to see my pile of donations slash things I'm giving to my sister? So I always give my clothes to my sister first and then whatever she doesn't want, I donate to a local shelter here in Toronto. Okay, this is what was crowding up my closet, you guys. A lot of stuff that I wasn't wearing. And my backlit, yes, I'm backlit. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm wearing a sweater that I have never worn because I cleaned out my closet and rediscovered it yesterday. So that was a win. I'm not in jeans, I'm in leggings because you know, that work from home life. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to kind of conclude this video by showing you something that I did uh, yesterday that was very helpful. So as you guys know, I like to mood board rooms when I make them over. And apparently I now like to mood board my outfits. So what I did was I just basically took those like key pieces that I showed you yesterday, like overalls, jeans. I literally just grouped them together into outfits that I thought would look cute. I also took pictures when I had tried on all these outfits for something else. I had pictures of me in certain things and I put them into the mood board. And now I have this document that I'm going to probably pin to the side of my closet because I'm extra. And now when I wake up, I can be like, oh, that's a cute outfit or that's a cute outfit or I wanna wear that today. So I'm not standing in front of my closet being like, what do I wear? I don't know, is this extra? Is this helpful? I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe some of you are gonna be like, no, I actually mood board all my outfits. But I do think that this is gonna be a really helpful tool for me when I get dressed in the morning. If you wanna check out Skillshare, make sure you click my link down below. The first 1,000 people to do so will get a free month of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity. What a satisfying video, bye.